This is the cleanest, most satisfying table break you'll ever see. At TLC 2018, Natalia took on Ruby Riot in a tables match. Ruby had Liv Morgan and Sarah Logan by her side, and they were going to do whatever it took to have Riot win. Natalia was about to send her opponent through a table, but at the last moment, Morgan took the bullet, leading to the perfect table break. Oh, and Liv Morgan oh! goes through the table! Stone Cold Steve Austin's match against Scott Hall at WrestleMania 18 was legendary, but this moment made it just a bit more special. The referee had been taken out, so a new official was needed. As Austin was going for the cover, a referee slid across the ring like butter to make the count. On top of that, the rattlesnake gave Scott Hall the most satisfying Stone Cold stunner to end the match. Dolph Ziggler is perfection, but even he had some help with this moment. In the SmackDown main event, Ziggler faced Baron Corbin and AJ Styles in a triple threat match. At one point, Corbin was executing the end of days on AJ, only for Ziggler to jump in at the end and hit a zigzag at the same time. Quick offense from Styles. Oh, wow! oh my god! During John Cena's rivalry with Kane in 2012, Zack Ryder ended up becoming the target of a lot of attacks. One of the most memorable was when the Bigger Machine pushed Zack off the raw stage. While Ryder was, without a doubt, in pain due to the landing, the satisfying part was seeing the wheelchair perfectly fold itself up after hitting the floor. During Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle's WrestleMania rematch at SummerSlam, Vince McMahon made his presence known and tried to interfere. Even after Angle won, McMahon tried to rain on Kurt's parade, but instead got an angle slam through the chair and just hear how this sounds. We all know that Braun Strowman doesn't skip arm day, but he doesn't skip leg day either. Apollo Crews, Danny Moose, oh, oh, literally. <laughs> John Cohn has been a WWE referee for over 15 years, but watching the way he moves around the ring, he should have maybe been a wrestler. Cohn literally jumps into position whenever he needs to, and it's satisfying to see him do it with such grace. The best one, though, has to be from a 2014 cage match between Gold and Star. Shortly after WrestleMania 32, an unlikely tag team was formed when Roman Reigns teamed with Bray Wyatt. They took on Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio, but how the match ended is what you have to see. Bray hits Alberto with Sister Abigail, and before Sheamus can break it up, Bray points and Roman knocks him down with a spear. Some wrestlers are just built differently, and Umaga was a prime example. Of course, being the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga was legally required to use the Samoan drop. However, he turned it into a thing of beauty by throwing his opponent into the air and then executing the move as they fell down. It looked amazing and was satisfying to watch every single time he did it. Umaga down and oh my God! Did you see that? Everything Ricochet does is amazing, so it's not surprising he's had some satisfying moments. During the 2014 Money in the Bank ladder match, Ricochet was in the ring, climbing a ladder. Matt Riddle pushed the ladder over, causing Ricochet to jump onto the top rope and then cannonball into the wrestlers below. Trying to upend the ladder. Two words, and Fort Worth knows them well. The word satisfying doesn't usually come up when talking about Jeff and Matt Hardy, but this moment definitely was. On the SmackDown after WrestleMania 25, the Hardy brothers fought in a stretcher match. Towards the end, Jeff went for a swanton onto Matt, only for Jeff's brother to dodge the attack, causing Jeff to land perfectly on the stretcher. Before some wrestling matches, fans will throw streamers into the ring. It's fun, but Lance Storm must not be a fan. Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon create some of the best moments in WWE history, but this one has to be the most satisfying simply for the sound. Mick Foley getting thrown off Hell in a Cell was awesome, but the hardcore legend had another satisfying moment that was pretty smooth. In 1993, Foley found himself in a Falls Count Anywhere match against Paul Orndorff. As expected, the match went outside the ring. Orndorff whipped Mick into some guardrails, causing Foley to flip over one and onto another before landing on the floor. In February 2023, Ricochet teamed with Braun Strowman to challenge the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. To finish out the match, the one and only hit Jimmy Uso with a shooting star press, which unfortunately put Ricochet in the perfect position for an Uso splash from Jay. Not that small, and yet he moves around with such grace. At Money in the Bank 2016, the King of Swing jumped off one of the ladders onto the middle rope and then hit a flying uppercut to Kevin Owens. It looked so smooth, which I guess is why he's called the Swiss Superman. AJ Styles is phenomenal, but so is Mustafa Ali. On Raw, AJ, Ali, and The Miz were going at it in a triple threat match. To close things out, Mustafa hit his signature 450 splash, which set him up perfectly for the Styles Clash. Rolled. 450! Oh! oh, oh my God. God. 
everything Imperium does is executed so perfectly, and so is the way Gunther takes off his coat. The man formerly known as Walter throws off his coat while Ludwig Kaiser grabs it and whips it around. It's so slick and smooth every single time they do it. On the other hand, this next moment is satisfying for the opposite reason. At TNA Impact Wrestling's first Bound for Glory event, Jeff Hardy took on Abyss, Sabu, and Rhino in a four-way Monsters Ball match. During this, Jeff did arguably his craziest stunt ever. The charismatic Enigma put Abyss on two tables and then climbed to the top of the set to deliver one epic Swanton Bomb. This is The move was awesome, and the way the table broke was so satisfying. No intro is needed. Just take a look at how this match between Eddie Guerrero and Diamond Dallas Page ends. For the Diamond Cutter, the power bomb set up by Page. Ah! Into the Diamond Cutter! I don't believe it! Teamwork makes the dream work, and it also makes for satisfying moments. During his time as United States Champion, John Cena would throw the title into the ring, the referee would catch it, and throw it back to the champ, making for a buttery smooth entrance. Braun might be a big monster, but he's got really good aim, as seen during his last man staying match against Roman Reigns. Reigns was charging at Strowman when the Monster Mon men chucked a chair that set the Roman Empire crumbling to the floor. He it to the oh my God! Wow! Randy Orton has had so many satisfying RKO's, it's hard to pick just one. However, one of the best RKO's Orton ever gave hardly ever gets talked about. At Unforgiven 2006, Orton took on Carlito. The Apple Man did an impressive jump off the top rope, only to eat an RKO from out of nowhere. I can see one flaw in Carlito. Oh, I saved the best moment for last because this was one in a million. During the 2023 draft, Cody Rhodes got sent to Raw. When Triple H made the announcement, Cody's entrance music started playing. However, the song stopped before it got to the part where it goes whoa. Triple H knew how badly the fans wanted to do it, so he told them to say the line anyways. However, if the music had kept playing, then the fans' whoa would have still lined up perfectly. Take a listen. You're almost there. You're almost at the whoa moment. Go ahead and do it. Moments like this are super rare, so to see more like them, watch the video on screen.